Our next topic is revaluation of assets and reassessment of liabilities. At the time of retirement of a partner, the assets and liabilities recorded in the books of accounts may have been overvalued or understated. Understand? So it is necessary to revalue the assets and reassess the liabilities. Mainly to record the assets and liabilities in its correct and current value and to record unrecorded assets and liabilities. Understand? So it is done with the help of one account. It is called a revaluation account. Okay. So it is same as a admission chapter only. The only difference is that now at the time of retirement, whatever the profit or losses arises, you know, that will be distributed to all partners in their old ratio. Whereas in admission chapter, what you studied, it will be distributed to old partners in the old ratio. That means, you know, the newly admitting partner will not have any right to get the profit or loss of revaluation. And so it is the format of revaluation account. So revaluation account is a nominal account in nature okay so what is the rule for nominal account debit all expenses and losses credit all the incomes and gains okay so for your understanding i have mentioned it here expenses or losses and the incomes and the gains okay so debit we will mention all expenses and losses whereas credit side we will mention all incomes and the gains understand so when we revalue the asset and reassess the liabilities there are mainly six possible cases. The first one, increase in the value of asset, decrease in the value of asset, increase in the value of liability, decrease in the value of liability and there may be some unrecorded asset or unrecorded liabilities. Yes or no? I am going to transfer these items here. How you will record? Okay. The first one, increase in the value of asset. Asset increased, okay. As I told you, stock value last balance sheet shows 25,000, and uh, at the time of retirement of a partner, when they revalue, it shows you know 13,000. So, 5,000 increase is there. So, no. so, you tell me when stock increases, whether it is a gain to the organization or loss to the organization. So gain, no, when stock asset increases, then it is a gain to the organization. So, so it will be recorded at the credit side that is by increase in asset okay so whenever asset increases at the time of revaluation that will be recorded in the credit side understand so first one completed then tell me if asset decreases okay so it is, is it a loss or a gain to the organization it is a loss so when asset decreases it is a loss to the organization so we will record in the debit side. Okay, that is to decrease in decrease in asset. Okay, and uh, what is the next one? That is increase in liability. Okay, liability found that uh, it increased. Uh, liability increases. In, it is a gain or loss to the organization. It is a loss to the organization. No, so to increase in liability. So when liability increases, it is a loss to the organization. Okay, so it will be debited in revaluation account. Okay, and then when liability decreases, what will happen? It is gain to the organization. So we will mention here by decreasing liabilities. Understand? And what is the next one? Unrecorded asset. There are some unrecorded asset in the organization. So what we will do? Unrecorded asset. Uh, unrecorded asset is a gain or a loss to the organization. It is a gain no. So we will mention here by unrecorded. Unrecorded asset. And uh, what is the next one? Unrecorded liability. Tell me what about unrecorded liability? If there is any unrecorded liability, it is a loss to the organization. So we will mention here to unrecorded Okay, so then the first one, credit side, what are the items we will record by increasing asset. If any increase in asset at the time of revaluation that will be credited and if any decrease in liabilities that will be credited and in 
gets to an any unrecorded asset that will be credited. Understand? And here, any in decrease in asset and increase in liability and unrecorded liability. Okay, these are expenses or losses to the organization and these are incomes and the gains to the organization. So you have to balance these both sides. Huh? So whatever you get, okay, if you get debit side, then that is profit. Then that should be transferred to to all partners uh, capital account uh, in what ratio? Old ratio. Okay. So to all partners capital account. And uh, here if you get a uh, credit side, then that is a loss. Okay. Loss uh, transferred to All partners of capital account. Okay. So there will be either profit or loss. So let us discuss a small question. Mitali, Indu, and Geeta are partners sharing profit and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1, respectively. On March 31st, 2015, their balance sheet was as under. Okay. So their balance sheet is given. Liabilities and mutual sundry creditors, reserve fund capitals and assets and goodwill building, patent, machinery, stock, debtors and cash. Okay. And adjustment given now, Gita retires on the above date. Okay. Who is retiring? Gita is retiring. It was agreed that machinery be valued at rupees 1 lakh 40,000, patent at rupees 40,000, and building at rupees 1 lakh 25,000. Record the necessary general entries and prepare the revaluation account. Okay, general entries you could prepare because no, it is same as admission chapter only. So try to prepare the general entries yourself. Okay, so let me remind you when you prepare revaluation account. We will take from the adjustment only. That means no, we will not record the assets, book value or current value. We will record only the difference. Understand? For example, as per this question, it is given now. Machinery be valued at rupees 1 lakh 40,000. Okay. So last as per last balance sheet, what was the machinery value? 1 lakh 50,000. But the current value is 1 lakh 40,000. Okay. So we will not take 1 lakh 50,000 or 1 lakh 40,000, but we will take only the difference between the two amounts that is 10,000. Okay, that means what happened exactly 10,000 increased or decreased? Machinery last valuation it was 1 lakh 50,000 and now it is 1 lakh 40,000. No, so machinery decreased by 10,000. Okay, so decrease in asset it is a loss or gain to the organization. It is a loss. Okay. So where we mentioned David said to machinery. And what is the value? 10,000. Understand? And what is the next item? Patents at rupees 40,000. What is the value as per the balance sheet patent? It is given 30,000. Okay. So now the current value is 40,000. So 10,000 increased. Yes or no? Patent increased by 10,000. So patent is an asset. Asset increase means it is a loss or gain to the organization. It is a gain loss. So where will you mention? Credit side. Okay. So by paying tender 10,000. So no. So paying tender 10,000 recorded. And the next one building at rupees 1 lakh 25,000. What was the building value as per last balance sheet? It was 1 lakh. Okay. So now its current value is 1 lakh 25,000. So there is an increase in the value of building by 25,000. So, so building increased. Is it a loss or gain to the organization? It is a gain, no. So by building 25,000. Okay. So almost all items we have taken, then balance it. Okay. So we will not take or we will not consider any other items from balance sheet. Only the changes we will record in revaluation account. Okay. So that's why it is this valuation account is also known as a profit and loss adjustment account. Understand? So here when you balance how much you will be getting? 25,000. Okay. And here also 35,000. So tell me whether it is a profit or loss here. It is a profit. Okay. So what we will do with the profit? Profit will be transferred to partners 
capital account. That means all partners capital account in a old ratio there, old ratio. Okay, so to profit transferred to who are the partners? Vithali's capital account. Then the next partner Indus capital account. And uh, third one, Gita's capital. Okay. Total, what is the difference in here? 35,000 no, minus 10,000 is equal to 25,000. So this 25,000 should be distributed among Vitali and the Hindu and Gita in all ratio. In all ratio, that is 3 is to 2 is to 1. Understand? So when you distribute, you may be getting you know, 12,500 here. Then 8,333 then 4,667 ok so these are the amounts which is transferred to their capital account understand so in old ratio we distributed in their old ratio 3 is to 2 is to 1 understand so point you will be getting just a round of